Sagittarius, this is your reading for the 8th of the 9th. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. We're going to get some messages from the Romance Angels before we get started with the tarot. Oh, okay, that one just fell out. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Hmm. I think that's that's a message for a lot of people you know relating to childhood issues um, stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance hmm. you know I, I strongly get the feeling that a lot of you guys um, you know may have had some issues growing up within your family um, maybe seeing how your parents behave with each other and it's like some of you you know didn't have very good experiences and um, I think you just really don't want to like follow in those same footsteps is what I'm getting for a lot of you guys maybe come kind of um, hyper vigilant okay let's see what's going on with you guys Mm. ending things transforming um, making some some very important changes in your life I feel okay maybe dealing with a Scorpio are you guys on that cusp right there here we go hmm a lot of you I feel like are trying to transform a relationship for sure uh, maybe address some issues that you feel like you've you've probably had as a result of your upbringing or um, you know just trying to make sure that you don't repeat um, some cycles that you feel like were very negative here unsure about your steps but nevertheless I feel like you guys are trying to make some headway I think that there is a significant person in your life that um, you guys are trying to you know figure out what to do with this person maybe some of you are actually involved with someone else at this point in time or they are then we have the ace of Pentacles I, I think a lot of you are thinking about how to work work things out okay if you can work things out is it even possible to work things out should you offer to like get back together with this person should you suggest that you guys get married even for some of you who have broken up because you know the other person wanted to get married and you didn't or vice versa but there's something you're trying to figure out here in a connection with someone um, that I feel like a lot of you are not sure you're just not sure that's what the two of Pentacles is here you're not sure whether you can actually you know some of your behavior as an adult you know we get into our own patterns our own ways of thinking our own ways of doing things and sometimes it's kind of hard to like you know adjust ourselves to the way somebody else does things and I think that is what where you're at right now I feel like um, you guys may be dealing with a Capricorn um, individual, some of you, uh, Cancers here as well, but definitely thinking about starting over, starting over, but not just starting over like, you know, dating somebody. I think you guys are wanting to start over and um, date this person or get back together with this per person for a purpose, like long term because the ace of pentacles is something that is um is nothing to just throw around to be honest with you there's something significant here i feel like you guys want but it's like right now you, you're kind of unsure of either how to go about getting it or you know if it's even possible if it's reasonable for you okay let's see hmm some of you guys feel like this is over. This is it. There is no going back. There's nothing you can do. Or somebody's feeling this way about you. Maybe a Scorpio individual. Like there's no going back. All is lost here. There is no reconnecting. Um, there, There's no more love here. But love is definitely here. Okay. 
So if, if this is for a cross watcher, definitely love is here. Love is here. Um, there's just a need for somebody to step out on faith and um, go with their gut feeling. Do what they feel is necessary in a situation. Whether it's you or the other person here to fight for it. There's some conflict going on. I feel um, stirring within both of you. Both of you are going through these major, major changes and shifts, I feel. You know, in one sense, you want to fight for it. And then in, in the other sense, you want to just say, you know what, give up. Throw in the towel. But I think this energy is not going to allow you to really just throw in the towel like that. Okay, so this is all energy. These fives are all energies, conflict that's going on within you, changes that are going on in you. Th these changes are here to bring about some positive changes in your life. This is These are negative feelings that you're feeling right now, going through, but it's all to bring about something that is, that's going to um, be grand, I feel, for you. Okay, but you kind of have to fight through these feelings of feeling that all is lost, you know, crying over things that have already happened. This it's already happened, it's done. Okay, so now it's time to, to get up and move forward. What can you do from here on? Okay, let's see what else we've got. I had some cards that just kind of fell out there. Hang on, guys, get my deck straight. Hold on one second. And then look under here as a tower. Definitely awakening. Definitely. Okay. Going through something here. And then we have these twos. Um, decisions to be made and love. How, how to devote the time. Um, how much time to devote to this situation. What needs to be done. All of that. Okay. How to rebuild this connection. Can this connection be rebuilt? So you guys can have this, this new humble beginning. Okay. To where, you know, you have it all. You can build a legacy. You can have a family. Um, get married if that's what you are wanting to do. Working on yourself. Trying to, trying to figure out things within yourself. Because you have to know what it is that you want first and foremost before you can even make a move. So I think that's where you guys are right now. And there's a fool again. Taking that leap of faith. Doing what you feel is right in your heart. Stepping out on faith. Using your intuition. Okay? Yeah. Maybe an Aries, Virgo, um, Aquarius. Here as well. Let's see. What is influencing you guys right now? Ace of Wands. You have two aces there. Still attracted to someone. Still seeing them as, um, I feel like, the person for you. But really not knowing whether or not, you know, you can make this happen. Not knowing if you can really make this happen. Is this person going to be on the same accord with you? Do they still have, do they still want what you now want? Or do they want? what you have always wanted have they changed enough um are they going to want to be committed to you are you guys going to be able to get along can you learn from each other can you grow together i mean all of that all of that you're thinking about it and then as a, the debt there's a three of pentacles there i need to talk about it spend some time together to really see if you guys can move forward um successfully together you know is coming in seven of swords doing what somebody feels like is right for them then i see the ten of swords here hmm. somebody feels betrayed here backstab whether it's you or somebody else and the world hmm. wrapping up a cycle wrapping up a cycle if this seven of swords energy is something that you guys have done or you feel like you've done to someone um that maybe you left them in a lurch that maybe you know you did some things that you're not necessarily proud of i feel like you guys are now realizing where you went wrong okay 
And if this was somebody else that did this to you, I feel like, you know, they realize where they went wrong. Okay. Because in the world, we are wrapping up a cycle. We've completed something here and we're starting over. We're starting over. Now it's up to you when you go into this next cycle, if you're able to spot this type of behavior, behavior, or if they're able to spot this type of behavior and not allow this, this nonsense into your life. Once you spot it, cut it out. Okay. There's something you've learned here. If somebody's done this to you, I don't feel like you're going to allow this shit again. Okay. And, and vice versa. If some, if they, um, if you've done this to someone else, I don't think you'll do it again. I, I think you've learned. Okay. Because it doesn't get anyone anywhere. So I think you'll leave behind, you'll do what's best for you, you'll use your logic, and you will wrap up this cycle, which is already in the process of like wrapping up, starting over, you know, going into a new cycle, hopefully with, with better intentions, with better results, okay? So we have, excuse me, we have any fixed sign here, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, um... Aries is here, Virgo's here, Cancer, Capricorn, I feel. Okay, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I will be speaking with you guys soon.